Hello, um, it's Brianna, again. Um, I just thought I'd post another video because I'm kind of relaxing on this very relaxing Sunday afternoon. Um, I was watching a few YouTube videos this morning. Majority of them, Lori Cabot. Um, I just got done watching, um, Avalon Moons. A little uh, video on uh, what uh, her opinion on dark witchcraft is, and I like her opinion. And you know, she's entitled to her opinion. You know, I'm not saying this thing in the way that she's wrong. I do like her opinion. It makes a lot of sense. You know, we all have our own opinions, and we're all entitled to our own opinions. I happen to be great fans of Michelle Belanger and. Constantinos, it, yeah, they write from from my point of view, um, because you know the the majority of people, nothing all, um, are very much into who are into the the darker aspect of the past that they have chosen. You know, sometimes do like. A, the, the vampire part of things. Um, so I decided to talk about my tattoos. This tattoo was my first tattoo. It's my vampiric half. The Ankh represents life and a lot of the um, vampires in the community wear the Ankh and use the Ankh as, you know, there's their symbol. Um, I added the veins onto it to, for, for more of a vampiric feel. The, they were supposed to look like they were actually going into my body, but what can you do on a budget? <laughs> and my second tattoo. That is my pentacle. That is for my witch half. And uh, they represent who I am as a person. You know? But they, uh, they blend together so nicely. You know? I think we all have these um, feelings that, you know, we're, we're two halves of a whole at the same time. Some of them, some of us manifest them in different ways. They manifest themselves as they want to manifest. You know, um, you know, I don't necessarily, you know, adhere to the whole psychic vampire thing. I am more of a, a sanguine vampire. I do believe in psychic vampirism. It's better when they know about it and can control it, but the, the psychic vampires that, you know, they don't know they're va psychic vampires, and I'm not even talking about the subculture itself, I'm talking about people who can just walk into the room and just suck all the energy out, they literally just drain you all, especially fun suckers, something, something about people that just suck all the fun out of it. And you just feel emotionally drained. You know, it's... That's why I don't mind so much the people who are, you know, honing their skills with it and controlling it. And, you know, are careful with it. It's the people that don't know and just... They don't want to find out anything about themselves. They don't want to help themselves. They, you know... And they can't figure out why nobody wants to be around them because they suck all the energy out of things and they just, they suck the fun out. I, I'm one of those people who, you know, I believe that every opinion is valid. Although some people can't, some people say to me, like, uh, our one friend says, well, 
I don't understand how you can believe that everybody is right because somebody has to be right and somebody has to be wrong. I mean, nobody can be completely right. Nobody can be completely wrong. Completely. We all have our own opinions. We all have our own paths to whatever we believe the, the higher power to be. You know, he used to be into the whole chaos magic theory. And even then he was an ass ass. Now he's becoming completely hardcore Christian, but he's still an ass hat, which doesn't mesh. He's staying at the mission up the street, and I'll tell you, I get along with the people who run the mission better than I do him, because you know they're they're not ass hats. You can't you can't be an ass hat. Period. Because. You know, being an ass hat is different from being a butthole. It, it's completely different. You know, I, there's a difference. It's hard for me to explain the difference because it's a rather gray area. But it being, you know, it's just a gray area. I'm bird walking on the ass hat subject. I'm sorry. Um, I, I don't really consider myself Wiccan. I am a witch. A vampire, the vampire part of me is, is who I am. You know, so is a witch. But I, I, you know, not everybody needs to know that. Of course, now nearly everybody's going to know it because I posted it on YouTube. <laughs> what happens at home stays on YouTube. What? So, um, if anybody has any questions after they watch this video, I'll be more than happy to confuse you all the more. Um, I, I hope I make better videos than this in the future. Um, so, see ya.